get together three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we just practice for an hour and we uh, we just pick songs that people we, we know people would like and we just practice them until we have a, until we have a gig and we just play. So we do. <laughs> well, jazz band is a smaller group. It's not going to consist of a large number of each instrument. It's just a few very talented musicians that are able to get the same sound of a larger group. And of course, the jazzy style as far as Ellis Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, things like that. So it's a different sound. <laughs> The difference is just the quality behind the sound and just the the notes that they are very pure. Well the other band class there is is uh, like Darton Band which is just we're playing like more classical music like big band stuff. It's more you read on the page but in jazz band it's you read the page but then you also make your own thing up while you're playing. actually had a hard time with that coming in from a show choir where it, everything was just kind of written out for us, you know, and so I come here and he's like, we want to get you to scat and have kind of your own little style and I caught on pretty well except for the scatting, I'm still kind of working on that, but as far as like the instrumental parts and improving and coming in and doing their solos, they're very talented and are able to just get it right out you know it is difficult if you don't really know what you're doing like me sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just learning I'm just learning how to improvise on trombone and everything so it's difficult for me but other people like Kane Russ or like Eman like past uh, people that have been in the jazz band it comes easy to them because they they've been doing it for a while and they just know how to play but if you're a newcomer, it's, it's kind of hard when you first start off. Lots of practice, <laughs> definitely lots of practice and the rehearsals are very important because getting those few people together to really get each individual personality and style for the music together is a big deal for the musicians as a group. During a jazz fill, we all have a certain limit, or it's like, you can say the, the limit is eight bars. Like, one person will play for that eight bars, and then you'll pass it on to someone else. It's, you're kind of competing, but it's like more competing than just like, uh, who's a better improvist, who's better at improving than the other, so. But the other bands, they don't really have the opportunity as much to give that individual style through ad-libbing and such because it adds character to the song as a whole, e each piece really. The ad-libbing and improv makes a big difference. It's really hard to explain. It's just something, it's just something that you feel. Like you can't really explain it, it's just there. And you just you don't really know what to do with it, but you just have to like just roll with it basically. And uh, and you just you can't be shy if you're in a jazz band. You have to be able to play, and you have to be able to make up something on the spot. Like basically, it's really hard to explain, but that's that's my explanation of it. It does. It makes you feel a lot more confident, and it helps you reflect on all of the practice that you've had over the years, and say this is where I am now. It's just like, it's never a dull moment really. You come in here, you get ready, and if you love what you're doing, then you're not gonna wanna leave the room barely. You know, you just wanna keep practicing all the songs and getting them where they need to be. Yeah.